Hey everybody, it's Lana from Modern Home Systems Rancho Santa Fe again bringing you today's tech tip. Bookmarks, favorites, top sites, and reading list. Alright, let's get started. First thing is going to be opening up the Safari application. If this is your first time, let's say, purchasing a computer and you just open up Safari for the first time. Uh, what you'll see at the top here with all these other icons and what we're going to deal with today is the bookmarks. Um, and right here, this bottom line along the top part of the screen uh, is going to be your bookmarks icon. So just by hovering over it, you can get a little definition of it. So this here is going to be what's going to uh, show your sidebar, which is basically all the content uh, that has to do with favorites, uh, your favorites bar, all your favorite sites, and reading list is in here as well. Why well, it looks like a book, and it has to do with reading. So we're going to do that is going to be the sidebar. Next one is top sites. Uh, which we'll get into right after it, but this will show you the icon. You click that and it'll open up all your top sites. And top sites are basically a rundown of all the sites that you go through in one day. And the most recent ones will push out the older ones. Uh, and you can see, it. Well, actually I'll get into it right here. Let, we only have Google being the first one, but as I go through and I start looking at more sites, they will start going one here, one there, one there, one there, and, and so on down the line. Uh, and they'll get pushed down and the most recent one will be up at front. And we're going to show you how to basically set one in stone so you, every time you go to it you can always have it on there. Next to that here we have our favorites bar. And every time you create a favorite, like site that you frequently visit, let's say visit like every day, and you always want to have that, or so let's say you go to work and there's sites that you have to use each day and you use them in a row, you can kind of put them in a row up here and use them in that order. And we're going to show you how to create one. Uh, these are the stock ones, and there's more stock ones that usually come with it. I had them deleted. So the first thing I'm going to show you is when you first buy them, there might be Wikipedia, Yahoo uh, on top of them. Let's say you don't want those, you want to create a fresh one for yourself. You can easily go down each line, right click or two finger click on the on the actual icon. You get a little option bar here. We can rechange the name if we wanted to. And what we're going to do is going to show you how to delete. Basically, that's all you have to do is go down the line, click the ones you don't want by right clicking or double clicking, and you can choose delete. Okay. The way we're going to add it is basically go to a site. Let's put, oh, excuse me. We're going to put Modern Home Systems. We're in the Modern Home Systems site. Um, now I want to make it one of my favorites. So what you're going to do is go up here to the bookmarks. And then you have an option in the third row. Or if you know the shortcut, you can press Command D. And it'll take you right to it. But we're going to hit Add Bookmarks. It says Add This Page To. And we have some options here. We're going to click. We're going to deal with these two options, uh, favorites bar or top sites. So we're going to click this. You have here top sites or favorites bar. We're going to stick with favorites bar. What's going to add another one up here. Uh, this is a long name. It says welcome to modern home systems, modern home systems. I'm going to click this, drag it down and just say modern home systems and hit add. And there it goes. Pops it right up front to the first one. Let's say modern home systems is the first one that I visit every day. I visit Apple every day. It's easy. Just go to the Apple one, click it, just drag it in front. All right, and it goes for every single one of them. You can move them around just by dragging them down the line. I uh, also, at the same time, that's kind of long. Let's say I start getting like 10 or 11 uh, sites saved up here. There's only so much space up here. Of course, you can stretch out your screen a little bit longer. So we only have so much space to actually see them. After a while, it actually puts a new icon over here where you click and there's a drop down menu where you see the rest of them. Uh, but what we want to do is let's shorten this. Basically, what you can do is you can either right click Go down to rename bookmark or if you want to you can just click and hold and there you go it highlights it what we're going to press is mhs to shortcut there you go and there you go you have your site mhs now we're going to do the other option we just created a favorites up here what we're going to do is go to bookmarks and we're going to go all the way here again to add bookmarks we're going to choose top sites so top sites you've probably seen this icon here at the top left we're going to click that. I'm going to shorten that name again. I don't want it as long. Hit add. See, it doesn't pop up here. What it does is when we go to this icon, click on it, it now adds this to our top sites. So every time we open up our top sites page, we can see a bigger version of all the web pages to make sure that that is the page, let's say, what we really want to go into. We can see it says Modern Home Systems. There's actually the beginning uh, header to the page and everything. We have Google. Also, when you hover over them, you notice these little icons where you can delete them or you can basically pin them in place, which it says it'll turn it into a permanent marker. You can unclick it 
if I was to unclick it and I start going through multiple pages, like different websites, all these other ones, it'll get pushed down the line until it's off the screen. You no longer see it there. Um, so if you want it to always stay in its place, which comes in handy, let's say if you're looking up a lot of stuff for sale on Craigslist or eBay, you're bidding on something, you want to save that page, you can pin it right into place. When you click here, you can have all those pages saved here. Uh, and I want to unpin this one and I'll delete it. You have options to do that as well. Okay, we're gonna get to the third one here, which is actually the sidebar. Click and open that. You can see we have our favorites bar here listed as well. And another option we have is reading list. And you can see we have modern home systems here. And I have a, a reading list, a basically an article that I save to read later. Uh, what I'm gonna do is go back to modern home systems. Let's go into our news channel. And we're gonna go to our posts. And we'll click on one of the posts down here. And let's say I start looking at this post and I want to have it in my reading list. I can't get to it. And I want to read it later. So what we'll do is we're going to go over here to our bookmarks again. And we're going to head down to, oh, excuse me. We're going to head all the way down here to add to reading list. Click on that. See, it basically drops it right into the book. And click on, there we go. We have another one saved. So I have this first one, which is the actual header for Modern Home Systems. And then the second one being right here, Beyond the Basics. Click on that, and there you go. You can have multiples, so you can just bring you back, basically. It is like a bookmark inside of a, in a book. You just put it in the place, and it'll remember that article for you next time. Uh, and that's basically it um, for all the bookmarks, the ones that I use at least. Um, you can go and reprogram your whole little bar up here on the top, do whatever you need to do with it. But here's the three icons. This is the sidebar again top sites and then your favorites bar here on the top and again you can also move these around edit delete and customize them to your liking uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this tech tip today and I, like always i hope you put this to use and i'll see you next time and for any more information feel free to contact us here at the rancho santa fe location and we'll be glad to help